Okay, so Happy New Year once again. My name is Joseph, you know, Asipo. Um, it's my pleasure to come live for the very first time on Facebook and uh, I think we'll be coming live too on YouTube, you know. Uh, I didn't I didn't broadcast the fact that I wanted to go live because I didn't want to feel disappointed if at the end of the day somebody turns up on my life, you know, or, you know, I don't want to feel disappointed. At the same time, I'll be happy if I get people um, joining up live. So, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to try how to go live, you know. So, um, just want to try how to go live because this year, 2024, I think I'll be doing a lot of live streaming because, um, you know, the, the, the main thing is that we are trying to document Nigerian music. That's been the whole concept of getting Nigerian music history across so that um, when our children or grandchildren, are, you know, come up, they'll get to understand or get to feel what Nigerian music is all about. You know. um, I discovered that to get information about uh, music in the 70s was very difficult for me as a music lover. As a music lover, it was a bit difficult for me to get information about artists that I used to hear about when I was growing up. So I've always loved music, loved Nigerian music. So that is why the whole concept of music in my ears came about. So in that attempt to document, you find out that um, probably the, new the newspapers are no longer available. I may not easily have access to national archives or you may be in a city that probably there's no um, national library and sometimes you may not even get th these um, institutions don't keep some of these things for so long so getting information was very difficult that's why i decided to do my bit trying to research into the Nigerian music history, Nigerian music industry, and see how to keep information I can gather about what used to happen in the past. It's not a very funny thing because um, the things you're trying to do are not the current issues that people really uh, love. People like, I mean, if you are doing a trending artist, let's say, a Bonner boy, a David Doe, people can easily like um, jump on it. But in this case, you are digging back to history. So the engagements um, may not really be encouraging, but then it's, it's um, something of passion, you know, that we just keep on going, keep on doing you know, for the sake of posterity. So this year, like I said, I didn't want to announce um, anything, uh, live broadcast. I'm trying to see if YouTube will come up to it. Basically, I think the Facebook is on. So I didn't, I just wanted to get on to pass this bit because I know that eventually everybody will get to see. So this year, I want to do a lot of live. I have a lot of, um, my target artists as my friends on Facebook, you know, I have a lot of them. I'll be reaching out. I'll be reaching out to 
um, the artists on my timeline to see if we can chat one on one, talk about music history, talk about music, talk about their projects. That's um, one thing I really need to do this year. So all those artists, hey, Paparazzi is watching. <laughs> Breeze is watching. Breeze is watching. Let me see if I can get him on in case he needs to say anything. Now. Anyway, so like I said, I didn't want to announce this live. I just wanted to record. Okay. I need to get artists to chat about Nigerian music, the past, okay, okay. what they are doing currently. You know, it's, it's, you know what we've been through now. It's a long time. Absolutely, it's a, absolutely. It's a, it's a, absolutely. Man. So absolutely. I, was, I didn't want to announce that I will, I will be doing live. This is the first time I actually be. Wow. I was just to go meet and see. If everybody, wow. anybody joins, trying, if nobody joins, no problem. But you know, it should be there. I guess wow. it will be recorded. Wow. You know, wow. 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 So the, the, the main thing is just that over the years, it's the first time ever that I tried to put things about Nigerian music or writing or whatever. It's way back. I think that should be like 1996. Okay, it's a long time, and I can remember yes. exactly what that time. Daniel Wilson, you know Daniel Wilson. I know Daniel Wilson. Yes, Daniel Wilson had this song with them. Let me be Gary Oku, the guy that used to do Fela's album covers. Oh, the guy that used okay. to do Brad Fela's. He's still alive. <laughs> they had this song. They had this song. Omola KG. That is the name of the song. Oh, 96. Oh, 96. About 96. Well, I remember because it was, Abacha was still, I think Abacha was still, yeah, I still remember. And I remember where I was, I was, I was living in Calabar then. Oh, okay. Okay. I remember quite well. So yeah. they had a song. And my, my attention was drawn. Okay, Nigerian music has been down for a while after the, after the 80s, 90s, yeah, 90s. Was, that beginning, late yes. 80s, beginning 90s, everything was going down. The industry was more or less non existent. Wow. You understand? Wow. Yeah, it was almost until all these um, Ajegule people started coming out. You're right. Show, right. That is okay. Yeah. This, Baba Frayo. Baba Frayo, they started coming out. Yeah. So, but in between, reggae thing was still on. So that then we still had this song with that man, and that song was a great. You know, then we still does raga. So yeah. this the, the chorus, the chorus was in Yoruba. Okay. Yeah. So I thought, okay, this is beautiful. Why can't Nigerian music go that line? Wow. That my thinking was my drum music should actually blend with the Western yeah. and Western, Western, Western sound. Yes, I understand. And that that is what will propel our music. And truly, I think that is what has happened. That's right what now. has become Afro beats now. Yes, that fusion. Because I think everything that we are, we are doing now is fusion. You should fusion. know. Fusion. For me, yes, it's fusion. <laughs> And all that. Yes, so that time I wrote something. I wrote and I wrote a piece. Okay. That, the main source of um, entertainment information was uh, Fem Magazine for me. Was yes. the best Fem Magazine. So yes. the song, uh, Femi Akin to Dead Johnson, Wale Olumo, Let Wale Olumo, and um, was there again? Kunle Bakare wow. and a lot. Of, they were the they were the people that really, you know, used to give us um, the makers that used to give us music. So I wrote something that okay, why, why can't Nigerian? Because for me, everything should be intentional. The business should you know if you are doing business, it should be intentional. Intentional. 
you project, oh, yes. yes, this is what I feel that Nigerian music should look like. Because we don't have, for me, there was no identity as in, okay, if I'm outside the country or if I'm an outsider, maybe somewhere in the US or UK, how do you know that this, how can you really define Nigerian music? Music, yes. Yes, it was a bit difficult. You had the Fuji, you had the you the last stuff and all that. So but you cannot really pick out what the sound that you can clearly define as Nigerian music. But if you go to Kogo, you know the Sokos, you know the the Makosas. Yes, the Makosa. You can actually pick okay, this is from the release. That was what I felt was missing. And in fact, Probably high life would have even been a sound, but it then. But it Ghana became Ghana. For me. Yeah, Ghana took it, yes. That's what I wanted to mention. Yeah, Ghana has a band yeah. as far as I'm concerned. So that, yes. that was the whole idea of, okay, okay, let me. I wrote that piece, but I, I didn't know how to send it to Lagos. Then. You know, that time you have to post. There was no email. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, wow. So if today I would have sent it by mail. To the yeah. editors of, of course, but okay, I wrote it and kept it out. So that's why I actually picked the idea of uh, documenting um, music history. Okay. The okay. difficult. You don't, don't seem to get um, the data. You don't seem to get information. Like, like before I started, I said maybe national library, but do they keep those records? They don't. I doubt. If I want to go to, if I want to have information on, um, let's say there's an artist then in Cross River, Stan Lee Junior Fat, Fantastic Sig, I think it's late now. If wow. I go to Nigerian, if I go to Nigerian Chronicle in Calabar, will I get in Calabar? Yes. Is it possible that I'll see right up on Stan Lee Day? That would be difficult. <laughs> Look at you as an artist. Do you know Stan Lee Day? I've not heard it. I'm hearing the name for the first time. And I'm from Crossover. Beautiful. So how, how do you now know what the music, the popular artists of the 80s uh, from Crossover, what, what they produce? And the kind of sound I'm supposed to go and tap from to, to, to fuse into my Afro beats. Uh -huh. That is it. Because I believe... One, thing, one problem I have with um, the current wave of artists is that they tend to forget, they tend to forget that the industry started before them. Yeah, yeah. Which is, yeah. Quite, opposite, which is quite opposite to what the Americans do. You know, these guys, those guys, they try to still bring up their... They, are, they, are, they, they, they still go back to their legendaries, their, 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 their roots. Yes, they tap into their roots. roots. Yeah, sometimes they sometimes they cover songs or sample a lot. We may not, not know, but there's a lot of sampling that goes on yes. out there and yes. it keeps what is relevant and still give them some kind of income. Yes. Do you get it? Yes. Uh -huh. Still give some kind of still income. Income to the people who are... There are people that came before you that paved way, but yeah. in like Everybody is saying nobody created way for me. I don't look up to anybody, <laughs> so, you know. So that's the thing. So, so, so this whole idea is the industry for me is one. People have been doing a lot without the help of internet, without the help of social media. Yes. Uh, they still made their mouth. There's a lot that went down in the past that I feel that. Um, younger generation should know and even people that our own children and grandchildren should know so that so I, want my, I, want, I wanted to ask a question mm -hmm. okay I, is it that you are you do you intend to create a musical library or a musical history library or a museum or a digital center where any information can be gotten from when we want to check music of, of yesteryears and no, um, what the whole essence of the things I do online is just keeping the, in my YouTube channel, music in my ears. Yes. It's all about, I try to profile some of those artists. 
I never most okay. of the time, I didn't grow up in a home that music was played really. Okay. I can't remember us having I, I can count the number of tapes, cassette tapes that I, I knew my parents had. Okay. It might not be more up to five. Wow. Do you understand? But it's just curiosity and all that. So in my YouTube channel, I tried to research into particular like I started with the seventies. I was still a very young person in the seventies, you understand? Okay. So I started with those guys, people in the seventies that were in bands. I researched into them, I create videos. Okay. In my YouTube channel. So if you go to okay. YouTube channel now and see story of sweet breeze, you can actually get a snapshot of what sweet breeze represented. Who were the members? What albums did they release? And I tried to bring in a few songs. Oh, Although the copyright, uh, yeah, copyright mm -hmm. issues fix some of the. I'm taking risks, still allowing some of the music to run on those videos. That's one. Yes, because people have the cop those cop copyrights, but I want people to okay. I never knew about this. Let me listen. So you now listen as oh, okay. This is what Sweet Breeze. I've done a couple of them. But I hardly have time to to work on those things. Okay. No, but I've done a okay. couple. Then even on Spotify is the same thing. Okay, I've done it. One Sweet Breeze. I've done Wings. I've done Doves. I've done um, Founders 15, I've done Action Fund. Those are different bands of the 70s. I've done um, wow. Strangers, um, several. I've done several of those videos. So if you go to my Music My Years channel, your songs okay. are still there. Okay. Go to, to the videos, really listen to or watch my, my kind of documentaries on those bands I've mentioned. So I want to take it from the 70s then move on to the 80s. The early part of the 80s were, was more, most like pop era. Okay. That had, oh. All the Pisocoti of this world, Felibati. Okay, Felibati, okay, okay, okay. That's the, early so, 80s. Early 80s, then, then, then now came, because there was a kind of transition, period to period. Then along the line, now came the time you had reggae, men. As the men, you know, Majek, Fashek, Tarakota, and the rest. Then moving to the 90s gradually to this period, you know, uh, maybe I would have retired. <laughs> so that's the idea, not really creating an archive, but something online that's okay. That we can always, minutes, uh, like an educative uh, platform. Okay. Yeah, so okay. in 10 minutes video, you can actually know, okay, this to, uh, and maybe listen to their songs. So that's all whole, right. So that makes sense. That, that makes that's sense. Whole that, so that means uh, the, the the idea is to always uh, this is always be on your YouTube or they, when you, whenever I want to start or get a, a information about uh, music history is to follow. I think I'm following you on YouTube already. So always go there and and uh, and follow up. Yes. Yeah. So that's just the essence of what I'm trying to do. How, to how, how, how does other artists? also connect to your youtube channel well that's that's why i said this year i'll go live more and i have a lot of okay them okay 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 we went from facebook friends on facebook so i'm trying okay. to reach out to them one of the essence of this uh, video is um to reach out to them that okay if i if i if i want to do more of interviews with them so that well wow. they, they can Talk about what you know, maybe something you may not be yeah, experiences. Yes, yeah. So, okay. by this kind of appealing that if I send a DM or ask, please, I know I've already. Unfortunately, there's one person, there's one artist, he's from Aquibon. His name is George Emma. Okay. He's an 80s artist. He was big that time, that way back. In that area was big. In fact, beyond Nigeria was quite big. Wow. Ghana. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He, he, he actually, that's the only artist I asked. He sent me his bio. Oh, wow. 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 I didn't mean, get to watch this uh, because it's, it's equally my friend on Facebook. He sent okay. me his bio. Someone 
I had that in God, so I couldn't I couldn't transform that his bio into the video because we had. So I'm maybe I'll get see I can get across if I can do a one on one with Tim. Oh, that that makes sense. That makes yeah. Sense. Mm -hmm. So that does be him talking about his experiences. I think it's at least around this West African course it was West Africa because it was it was a name. Then wow. the people know people don't know. But I feel people should still know about yes. these people. They laid the foundation. You know this uh, boy called Charlie Poppy, the trending uh, Edo boy. Is the song that he sampled, is the traditional music of the yesterdays that he sampled that gave him his, his, his break. There are a lot of songs that, that the older generations uh, uh, would love to hear if we, if we bring them into this new school. And they can become our breakthrough. That's what happened to Tony Tetola, Omodome Tashire, and it was so near the... So, but it's just that because of the lack of uh, information, lack of history, lack of libraries, this generation does not have access to so many songs. So they just they just vibe vibe to the I mean, piano is taking over everywhere because it's like the vibe of the moment, you know. Let me I've I've done something on that on my piano thing on okay. the, on my YouTube because I have an issue with it. The, okay. The issue are good, it's good to do fusion and the rest, but the issue I have with it is that we gradually will lose these Afro beats if we keep on jumping to other general somewhere. And this is, wow. the, it took us time to get an identity. And we are now wow. jumping, so we are not even solid. So that's why our like sound. Into something else that like we're jumping into high life. Meanwhile, we picked, it took us years to get an identity that we can call our own. Do you understand? And suddenly, yeah. We are jumping because we, we, want are to. we are copying South Africa. I think we are copying South Africa. When you jump into Ama Piano, Ama Piano, you are now projecting Ama Piano over time. And it's a South African, and it's a South African sound. South Africa has been coming through with this sound long time ago. Is that drum has been their drum? You are right. Quieto and the rest and all that. So with time, people will not remember Afro beats again. And this is a serious matter. Oh, you're right. Though. Yeah. The, I have a problem with that. Then you mentioned something else I wanted to. Yes, people uh, are the I have yeah. a video on it. I actually compiled those cover songs. Nigerian That the last song is one of them. You know? Wow. 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 When I go foreign and, <laughs> and local. And local. Because, okay. One of those that song made equally made sense to the older generation then accepting to to Tetula. Uh, Why can't yes. some other people bring in some other song that the older generations will connect to you as a new artist? Yes. It, it makes it easier for the artist to even have a larger audience. That is it. But mm -hmm. it, it, my perception, I might be wrong, really. My perception is just that the new generation seems to feel that they started the industry maybe 10 years ago or 20 years, 15 years ago. Yeah. But it's not true. It's not. <laughs> For me, this, the industry is not even existing as, as an industry in Nigeria. It's like, like super eagles, stars everywhere. Our artists are now foreign artists, more or less. Yes. But like in football, what happens to the local league? Nobody Nothing. talks about the league. Except Nothing. few of us that knows around local league to find out who is who is in, in the Nigerian Professional Football League. You get it. So like uh, uh, big artists, our uh, early stars are uh, seeming not to be Nigerian artists again. So what happens to the local industry? Yes, How do you see the, the younger one, the upcoming? Everybody just struggles on their own. No. How do, you, how do you secure the future? That is it. You are developing with the industry. That's my perception. We are blowing without an industry. Play has just joined this life. Paul Play, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. So, how do you, how do you, how do you, um,
project the local industry. Because the, the early stars are foreign artists now. So how do you pull the ones? Where's the where's the um, what do you call it? Uh, where's the pipeline for producing the younger artists? Yeah, yeah. For me, it's just like hit and run every time. Hit and run. Yeah. Somebody does yeah. trouble and hits it and make out. Oh, becomes a big star, become an early star. So one of the industries as an industry in Nigeria. I don't think we have a music industry in Nigeria. For me, oh. Wow. As a layman, as a fan, as a follower, I don't think. Don't you don't you think that the failure of Piman too has really given rise to why everybody wants to be independent? Did I write something about Piman? Do I have a video? Yeah, I have. It's mobile skates. When mobile died, I had I had a, I have a video on that. One of the things is that like, okay, Piman as um supposed to be the umbrella organization for musicians, right? For yes. instance, was he a member of P-Man? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, know. I don't How many artists are members of P-Man? Because I feel so many that, artists. I feel if, if that guy had, if P-Man as a body had been the way P-Man used to be, some of those things you used to hear that he had issues, I believe they would have stepped in. Yes. You know, long, before, long before he died. Oh, this, yes, because he had been complaining. He had been complaining. I believe a body like P. Yeah. P. Mad, uh, this is what I in the video. One, they should have um, a kind of comic. If it's not like um, a legal seat that they can even offer free advisory services to upcoming artists. And reconciliation As between labels liber and their artists. Reconciliations. Yes, because like if a young artist has a contract, probably may not be able to afford the services of, you know what we went through now? Yes. Might not yes, be able to yes, yes. have the service of it. Can, can the P man have a, a unit that can offer free services? A legal unit. Yes. Okay, help me read this contract so that I don't jump into fire. Okay. That should be a service that would then attract upcoming artists to join P man. Yes. If you don't do that, if service, okay, what of people that have knowledge, like Paul Play now, that is okay, Charlie, but all those people that, okay, kind of elders committee, please overlook this, um, what these young artists are doing. Okay, you, that we're working together. Where is Polish, your friend? Polish, 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 I think, I don't know whether he's still recording, but I doubt. <laughs> Where is the encouragement? Where is Polish? Uh, those two boys, Paul and John, I don't know if you remember them. Yeah, I mean, you know Bonking? Yeah? You know Bonking? Uh, Bonking. Yeah, no, there's another two, two, two brothers like this that we're trying to do things with. Okay, you yeah. But, uh, yeah, everybody kind of, everybody has really, really given up a couple of uh, years and really gone into other there's pressures. No, there's no encouragement. There's no industry. There's no yeah. pipeline. But we have big stars, just like Spark Eagles, Super Eagles, and MPFL. We have big names playing, playing abroad, but our local league is nope. nothing to write home about. You have to you have to find a way to Europe if you must get recognition. Yes. You just even now Europe, even one of the keepers just left Gombe. Is it Gombe United to South Africa not long ago? Because exactly. seeing him in South Africa. <laughs> now in our team. Sky. Sky. Was in United, nobody cared to Sky. this person is playing football. Sky. You understand? Uh, so the same, uh, thing, uh, the same thing is going on in the music industry. So like I I I, I said from the beginning, I'm not a musician, but I've had passion to document uh, music. Absolutely. Absolutely. 96, the first write-up I did was on that Daniel Wilson and Baby Gary Okotin, that is named the the guy that used to do the last cover. So I said, this is where Nigeria fuse, fusion, fuse music and, but I couldn't say, but from then, I've been trying to just keep uh, digging to records, uh, do some fun clips of video, post it on YouTube and, and all that. But this year, this year, I just want this kind of conversations to go on because 
I'm equally quite busy too. So sitting down to create all those videos is hard. It's yeah. Hard. It takes time. So like I said, the artist on my timeline, please, if I call on you, let's talk. It's so my own country. I don't want a penny from, <laughs> from it's all right. all it's all right. Thing. Thank you very so much. It's yes. that has to grow. It has to, one way or other has to grow. You know, Thank that's you very the, much. I don't know if Paul Play can say something because he's there. Let me see if he would like to. I actually want to, oh, I wanted to actually uh, thank you for your commitment and passion to the industry. I remember when you, when you sponsored my album, you did the, you were the executive producer, sponsored it and was involved in my video, everything. We had almost 10 artists that you were upgrading. You remember when we met with uh, 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 Remedy and his brother, J-Boy, at Ogba, when we were recording with Sonny Steve, the uh, Infinity. I know Sonny Steve. No, and, I and then J-Boy, I saw J-Boy. J-Boy and uh, Eddie Remedy now. Eddie beat Eddie. No, you, I saw Eddie. You, met, you, you met Eddie, and Eddie, Eddie was appreciating you for, for investing in the industry. Uh, I, can't uh, I, know, uh, I know that people, yeah, there were a lot of people that um, I came across, yeah. you know, uh, Chris Okoro. Chris Okoro and the rest, yes. yes. Thank you very much. I'm with you. I will keep following up. Uh, like I said, I'm also in the studio. The industry has changed, so we're trying to make sure that we, apart from other things that we are doing too, I am running a media company right now and a couple of other things, but the, now the industry, since you can put your things online there and begin to promote, we're just trying to make sure we put everything together, but we'll still keep up to your platform and see how we can continue to engage together as we progress. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't even know you are online. I just, no, just stumbled into it. Okay, okay, let me go live and see how it is. Maybe with time, over time, we'll keep on talking. Like, but the main thing is that um, I can still do my research, but it's difficult. It's very difficult okay. getting information. So anything I scheme online, I try to put it into a video form and there, sometimes you don't get motion, you understand? Yeah. You don't get motion, just do video, do voiceover and the rest. It's a very difficult um, uh, task, you know, just to keep keep the, the keep the information because I know 10 years, 20 years, except internet goes, <laughs> the things will still remain. It will be, yes. And I most of the people I've documented about, I never met them. I didn't know. I didn't even grow up. I wasn't old enough to actually, you know, listen to them. Then. But I know, like I mentioned, Fanda 15, I mentioned, I mentioned High Cast, Straight Jazz, wow. uh, The Wind, The Doves, all those bands. Wow. You know, their own area was called Afro Funk. Wow. Wow. That's what Afro has been coming. Afro. <laughs> it's been Afro. Yeah, there's wow. Afro, Afro, you know, with. Funk, funk music, you know. So wow. created Afro funk, but a lot of people don't know that probably that existed, you know. So we are just trying to like I was only to build from there to the eighties and to the nineties. Like, the nineties, okay. Most of most artists have their profiles online. You can always um, get what they are doing. Yeah, but that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. then. The, the interest in the industry growing is is what um, I want to like anybody that comes up to speak about it. Fine, whatever is going on, how to equally you know contribute our ideas to the industry. Me, I'm an outsider. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, sir. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased to be here. God bless, and we appreciate you. It's all right. Okay. Okay. So, well, that's it. it was just um. A brief way of number one testing how to go live number two just to express what we are doing music in my ears all the things we are um trying to do online projecting nigeria music documenting most most important is documenting nigerian music so that um people anywhere can always um you know get to know what happened in the time past for me i've listened to um <laughs> I started buying music very early in, in my life. I think by 10, I started buying music, you know. Then I picked interest in Nigerian music over time, even when uh, foreign music was much more popular in Nigeria. I've always followed Nigeria keenly in, in my own way over time, when it was not very popular or very um, 
people doing recon with the industry as such. But for me, the industry was stronger as an industry then than what is going on now that we are more or less having um, artists uh, being foreign artists while the, uh, the younger ones are still struggling and not um, really making... Um, for every one big artist you, you see popping out from Nigeria, there are so many thousands still there in the, in the trenches, not, you know, not really having the guidance, the, 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 the proper things to do. For, it's even funny that um, that dichotomy I mentioned earlier uh, between the newer generation feeling that they, they started the industry or the industry, nobody paved way for them and all that. I'm not saying um, anybody should hold somebody by the hand and all that, but the industry has always been. The industry has always been. It's just getting the connection so that we, we keep on reviving the music industry, bringing back the sound by covers, by sample, by so doing, your older artists who have a means of life. Most of them have issues. Some of them don't have accommodation. Some of them, when they have health issues, it becomes a problem. So for me, the younger generation that are making waves, having avenues of having so much resources and money at their disposal should actually have a way of reaching out to the uh, older generations, push their music, cover their music. There's nothing wrong in covers. So far, you take permission to do it. And by so doing, you give a means of livelihood for the people that pay for well for you. Where I am right now, I see a lot of American artists performing. Shalama just taught UK, every, you know, almost everywhere. The same Shalama that I listened to as a child, you know. Cisco is somewhere around. I think they are doing something if they have not done it already. So a lot of these people still play. It's still top in Nigeria. You don't see, you don't see older artists. You know, I mean, parking venues, or maybe you have a young artist performing. You bring in these other people. It's the same industry. It's not my industry. I'm not. I'm just an outsider, but just the passion, you know. So, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's joined. I never announced this, but the only thing is that. Please, uh, Nigerian artists, especially the older ones that are on my friends, you know, I'm following, some of them are following me. If I send DM, let's talk. I just want to have your history, you know, from your own mouth. So let people get to know um, what you are doing. I'm not so much particular about your bio information, you know, like, but just much more about your music, you know, what you did your albums were part of your projects, what labels you were on, you know, how you started your influences, your inspiration, and all that. Not so much like your father, your mother, and the rest, but I know you like, we always like to know where you come from. So I'll be ending this today. It was just a test run. Thank you. I'm so glad to see Paul play here, my friend Brice coming on. Ramil, thank you for watching. <laughs> Ramil, Ramil is my guy. <laughs> Thank you for watching, you know. So until next time that I'll schedule and broadcast and, you know, um, advertise, I say thank you once again. God bless.